This is a low-tech AAC tool that is made from files that are available for free on the Saltillo website. So you'll notice that the vocabulary is from the Saltillo design called Word Power, and the symbols are symbol stick symbols. And you just need to print out the files and eliminate them and put the rings in and put them in the order you want. And they actually have tabs for each flippable part. So the flipped tabs have more fringe vocabulary that's really specific and activity specific. Um, and then the bigger board is more of your core so that you can start your sentence and end your sentence and use very common words that are considered core. I want more, which are all core words. And obviously there's no voice output because this is low tech, so you would need to kind of narrate as your individual is touching each symbol. And then up here we have a word wall by the same company, Saltillo. This is again free on their website. and. A teacher could be modeling or a para could be modeling I want more and then if the word wall was low enough the student can come over and imitate the model this is also great for um, pairing with a student in the class who's using word power so that modeling is happening and being exposed to the whole class so everyone can see what that talker looks like this is a low-tech AAC tool called a PEX binder so PEX stands for Picture Exchange Communication System. So it's an entire system that includes the protocol that is research-based on how to teach use of these symbols. But once you get into higher phases, you start using this binder. And as you can see in this example, it's organized really well because each tabbed page is a different color and the cards on each page have a border that matches that tab and when you remove the card to use it, there's another symbol underneath so that it can always be put back in the consistent location for motor planning. So this is an ideal PEX book setup. Um, the way the PEX phases actually start are with just a simple card and the reinforcer so that when the individual exchanges the card, they are reinforced immediately with the item and then it works up to using the binder for many many different choices and building a complete sentence such as I want to eat raisins and then tapping out each card as they're spoken, I want to eat raisins, and that's the exchange that I would then reinforce. This is called POD, that stands for Pragmatic Organization Dynamic Display, and as you can see, it is a mid-tech AAC tool because it needed to be created on a computer and printed out and put together, so you would need to purchase the software in order to load it on your computer and print it out. It has many, many pages because it is a very robust vocabulary. And it was designed for individuals with cerebral palsy who have average to above average intelligence and social skills, which is why its design is called pragmatic organization. So as you can see, if you chose let's do something else, you would need to then flip to page seven in order to continue that thought along that topic. And the individual with CP or some other disability is not expected to flip. So this is a partner assisted communication tool. So they are expected to use either eye gaze or some other access method like pointing to choose the choice on the page, but then the partner is expected to do the navigation. These are two examples of static display voice output devices, which are considered mid-tech. So you would need to create the board on some kind of symbol maker, like board maker or symbol sticks, 
and then print it out and insert it into the device. Once it's in, you need to do the voice recordings yourself. So if you're recording for a young boy, you should probably use a peer to make the voice match what the individual's voice would be. Um, and when they use pressure to activate the buttons, Hi. the recording comes out. So this is a pressure sensitive device. So you do need um, good fine motor skills in order to activate it. The one on the left is called the GoTalk Pocket. So as you can see, there's only six buttons but you can change out the paper five different times and all your recordings would be saved because there is five levels of recordings that you can just switch through easily. The one on the right is called a Quick Talker 12. So there are 12 different buttons and you can see it's a lot bigger and bulkier, but you're gonna get more vocabulary. Again, there's five levels so you can switch out the paper and your recordings will be saved. The Quick Talker also comes in 23 buttons which obviously gets smaller, but you have, again, more vocabulary. Okay, this is an example of a mid-tech device that is for object-level communicators. So the voice output device holds the recordings and any card can be put on it. And then when you push on the device, any recorded message can come out. Pre-made cards are made by Talking My Way and they each include either some kind of 3D tactile object so that the student can feel what they're experiencing during the activity, which in this case would be circle time, or a miniature object that represents the larger object that they're experiencing. And each card is paired with a symbol that can come off by Velcro so that they can learn the symbol that goes with the object. Eventually you would hope to fade the object or the tactile cue and they would be just using symbols. So this is called Talking My Way Communication Cards and it's on top of a Lex voice output device. And then a very similar device called a ProxPad by Logan Tech is um, gonna come with cards that don't have the symbol but each card is pre-recorded. So there's dozens of cards and they're pre-recorded and when you put that card from the box onto the prox pad, it will automatically save the message without you having to do any of the setup. But you can additionally make custom cards and you can change the recordings. So it kind of works like a UPC code at the grocery store. You can either push it onto the device or you can scan it and it will read that pre-recorded message like it's time to go to circle time or circle time. This is an example of high tech. This is an app called TouchChat HD AAC and this is a file that comes preloaded with it called MultiChat 15 Student. So there's 15 buttons in the grid and it has carrier phrases as you can see that automatically navigate to the next part in the sentence to help them have proper grammar. And then you can see there's a robust amount of vocabulary that's organized into subfolders. Um, you can use the clear button on the screen. You don't need to use the little X button at the top to erase. And it's got everything from question words to a keyboard page where they could start using their emerging literacy skills to spell with word prediction. So it's very robust and we wanted to show you the size difference. So on the left, we're showing a full size 10 inch iPad and on the right is an eight inch iPad mini. I want with to the watch. same exact vocabulary. Cartoons. I want to watch cartoons. Is this another high tech software called LAMP, which stands for Language Acquisition Through Motor Planning, and it's by Pranky Romic Company, also known as PRC. This company has existed for decades, so it's very stable in its infrastructure, tons of resources and support. There are sales reps that will come out to help you, and they actually just acquired the company called Saltillo, so now it's called um, PRC Saltillo. And this is a research-based design um, for how it's programmed because if everything is core and it's all in consistent locations so that there's a unique motor pattern for each language unit. 
So there's three different levels of this vocabulary, um, which vary in complexity, but they're all research-based. And so we're showing you the full version right now, which has the most vocabulary. The symbols and the icons often are uh, confusing to new users and those who are trying to teach the individual um, because they're unique to LAMP and PRC. They're not found in any other software, um, but they really do provide a lot of multiple meanings. So once you get comfortable with them, awesome. they do make sense to you. It's just that it's really hard to get over that learning curve at first. Another high-tech option, this software is called Snap Plus Core First. This is by Toby Dynavox, and it can be in app you? form or it can be on a dedicated device, which we have right here, the Indie. So it is a robust vocabulary. Use device. You, it can use board maker symbols, which is one benefit that other software can't do. Um, this company has also been around for a really long time, so they have a huge amount of resources online. They have sales reps that can come visit you. Um, can and I apply? There are many, many different vocabularies that can be loaded into this software, um, some of which are proprietary and designed by outside SLPs who then sold I need help. their design to Toby Dynavac. So there's a lot of different choices. And this app is available free to SLPs who are ASHA members. This is an app called Proloquo for Text. It's made by the same company as Proloquo to Go, which I know most of you have already seen. So we're gonna show you Proloquo for Text. When you hit that triangle in the middle. I understand everything you say but I need to use this program to talk because my speech is hard to understand. So that's one of the pre-programmed yes. sentences. And then you can erase it with the X button on the bottom right of that pad. They call that your notepad. And then you can start typing anything using the on-screen keyboard, which is the same as when you're texting or writing an email. And it'll word predict to make it quicker. It even does phrase prediction. So this is obviously for an individual who is completely literate and able to spell anything that they're thinking. Today, the AC tools from low to high tech are available within the EastCon Assistive Technology Lending Library, which is located at our main conference center in Hampton, Connecticut. Please contact any of the AT team members in order to schedule a visit.